Welcome to Glenoak Community College mm -hmm. Anatomy. Um, this is Dr. Ren Hartung, and we're going to dissect this cow's head to take the brain out if we can. I'm going to try to do it in a hurry because I have to give an exam on it. About 40 minutes. This cow's head was recently gotten from a slaughterhouse. Um, you can see it still has its eyes intact, which we'll try and dissect out in a little while. You can also see where the, um, the bolt I was talking about in class earlier, where that went in. So if we were doing an autopsy right now, as soon as you reflected the skin on the forehead, you would have seen that this was human. You said, oh. mm -hmm. Here comes the fun part. Um, the cow's brain case is actually just behind the eyes and I have a dissected skull um, from a previous operation like this that I used to make sure I'm... If you notice on this one, I started chopping in the wrong place. <laughs> I started chiseling in the wrong place. One of the things I overlooked the first time I did this was that the brain comes down and over towards the back here. In fact, I showed you where the spinal cord was in the back here. It's right there. Um, so I need to follow up on either side of that in the back. And Occipital condyle, occipital condyle. So my chisel. <laughs> what is he? There we go. Door. That is the interior of the Costco. Bridal plate, bridal plate, occipital bone. Mm -hmm. And that is the brain inside of the Dura Mater. Skull plates. So I am going to go ahead and open up the Dura Mater. It's the protective outermost covering. Remember the um, sagittal fissure? The transverse fissure has dura mater inside of it as well. And that is why it's very difficult to get the entire brain out in one go. Yeah. Needs a good cleaning. <laughs> um, I cut the optic chiasm. Instead of cutting the optic nerves, what I had was the optic chiasm. So that's after the optic chiasm has come through and these are going back. I don't know if this is a practical exercise or not. Way too much work. It was a lot. 